Welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to focus on how we can load transactional data into an SAP application. In the introduction video to BR Blue, I explained this diagram. In this video I'm going to discuss how we can load data into an SAP system. So if you have an SAP system that you need to load transactional data on a daily basis from an external system and looking to automate this process, that can be automated by making use of SAP Business Objects data services. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how we can load data into SAP ERP as a transactional data. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from a text file. This is the text file. And here we can see we've got two lines. So we're going to import two lines, one post into GL account 113100, one post into 476900, both going to company code 3000. 3000. Okay, if we just open SAP here, okay, SAP is opener, if I execute that, now there's a line item display showing the entry or the line that would have been posted to 476900. As you can see, we only got three items. Now I'm going to open data services. Here I've already got a project open. This project, what it's going to do is going to read the text file that I've showed you. It's then going to import it into SAP. And then we should get the results out there. But more importantly, inside SAP, we should see an extra posting occur. So let's execute this. Okay, then the log starts to display. And if we go in within SAP to the user list. Okay, now that I've refreshed, we can see that the user BR Blue is connected. That's user using SAP Business Objects Data Services, and it's making use of our RFC connection. Now the user has gone, so that's indicated that the process has run and completed. If we go into Data Services, it does say the job is completed successfully. So if we go in the GL account line item display, okay, once we're in the GL account line item display, if I go back one, execute again, I now have four items. So I automatically posted in that document. As you can see, it is 3956. If we go to data services and we go back here and we look at the results, we can see we've got an XML file. In an XML file, we've got a return table. In the return table, it says document posted successfully. And in here, it gives us the document number. So it's all zero, one, all the zeros, three, nine, five, six. And then it's company code 3000 and 2012. As you can see, three, nine, five, six, there would have been a lean zero and one, all the zeros. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at brblue.co.za.